Well, hey y'all, it's Pizza Hulk. The wolves welcome you to the long dark. Uh, it's a little shoot off of something else I was doing. And, uh, I got a playthrough going in Pilgrimage for 500 days. Uh, <coughs> it will be my first time doing it. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't mean to start off dying here. Uh, but, I, uh, I want to do some, some other playthroughs kind of running alongside it. Now this one, I'd really rather do it on Interloper with some harder Interloper settings, but. I like this one because it gives me the, uh, signal tower stuff to do, so. I don't think that's available for PlayStation 4 and Interloper right now, so if I want those missions, I gotta gotta play it in the uh, Stalker basic uh, settings, so. But anyway, I was goofing around in Pleasant Valley. Uh, I came to Pleasant Valley basically to to scoot through, uh, pass kind of through Timberwolf, to be honest, and get to Ash Canyon. Get there, get the backpack. And head, out, head back, basically. So yeah, I mean, this is basically just a, a mission to Ash Canyon to get the, the backpack. Got a moose side bag going. So we got the 88 carry weight. <clears throat> but again, I think if you're going to do something for 500 days, you probably want the full carry weight. Might as well go there. Thought it was a bear for a minute. Shouldn't be too bad though. Uh, animals are on passive. This is a custom stalker thing. And mainly what I'm interested in is seeing the loot tables and how the loot's working. That's originally why I started this particular playthrough anyway. Oh, uh, with the changes that they've made. And on the varying difficulties, so. About a couple looks at the Pilgrim stuff. It's, uh, it seems over handed myself. I think there's too much. I kind of went overboard with it at this point. It's, I mean, it's not that I'm. Again, the, the loot table changes, right? Things get different. So pretty much every playthrough below stock or below interloper has the potential of these being a little different, you know. And you can get to know places where you might find stuff. You usually find stuff, but it's not guaranteed. And it can always be weird too. You can always decide that, you know. You're playing a stalker mode, but for whatever reason there's hardly any hatchets in the world. But you got 20 knives. So, it, it, you can't find a sewing kit, but you've got 20 whetstones. Who knows? Not sure if I want to push it. I'd rather... Oh, I don't know. I could go to a cave and sleep for the night. It wouldn't hurt. Uh, there's plenty I plan to do here, including hitting some of the containers from the airplane crash that's 
right up Chaw. Uh, I went to the summit the last time I was here. There's another hacksaw. Fantastic. I was I hoping use for this. that. It's not in good shape, but I bought some scrap metal with me. Yeah, 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 some food, flare, gun kit. All this stuff's great, but I'm not really trying to mess with it right now. Arrows. Right, let's pop in here for now. And I want to lose some weight. And I'm not going to need either one of those hacksaws on this trip here. I need those. I can leave the scrap behind. I think what I'll do well, this stuff will come in handy. Is that right there? And let me just double check, make sure there's nothing else I can just toss. I mean I probably got more food than I need. Let's see, I'm in decent enough shape to keep moving. The weather looks good. Um, unfortunately, I just... Yeah, there was a series of unfortunate events. Right. Time to get out of here. Now, I'm curious. Because the last time I came through here, I was making a point. I was like, there's no moose sign back in this area. And the moose sign is in this forward area that I'm heading to. I was like, there's never a moose. I never see a moose here. There's never a moose. No moose. Well, got a moose. <laughs> so I'm wondering if lightning can strike twice. We'll see. Uh, but really, right now, today, I just want to get closer. Uh, I'd like to get to the uh, cave that leads to Ash Canyon. And probably just camp there for the night. And that way, I have tons of energy to start off for my uh, climbing. Because we've got a lot of climbing to do. Now, I've given myself the lower, the interloper, I guess, uh, setting for the fatigue degradation. So I've got some coffee, I got some tea, and couple things ready to go but when you're taking a long walk like this it certainly doesn't hurt to grab some stuff so uh, work my way up this way hopefully get to the cave tonight that I want and then there should be coal and firewood and whatever I need in there Uh, 
not seeing any moose sign right off the bat. So hope uh, you know, maybe he's in that back area. Either way, honestly, I didn't really want to have to deal with that today. Uh, there's a cave up there that can have some decent loot. I'm going to skip it for right now. I'm going to walk down here and see... Uh, there should be two containers down here. And that's why I brought the hacksaw, the tools, and the scrap metal with me. Uh, so I can cut into these guys and see what kind of weight I can get out of here. Oh, another hacksaw. Right. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that in his body for now. Because uh, I'm not gonna need a hacksaw where I'm going, but I will when I get back. And there's another ni nice hacksaw, so I'm I'm set. I can do what I needed to do if I... Well, if I was going to hit the summit, I'd probably do it on the way back, honestly. And I'm not going to do it, so... I've already did that in my other video. I got 500 days. I can always come back if I get bored. I like Timberwolf, too. I like to hang out here, so... Uh, currently, I only know one way to get out. Oh, that's the other issue. I really only know one way to get to the summit. And, uh... It's a little complicated from... It'd be easier if I came back from... Ash and just went straight for it. the way I know. Let me grab these feathers. I am going to leave the map for at least a couple days. We come back, so maybe there'll be a couple of feathers when I get back too. We'll see. Eventually I'll switch to the archery. Might as well get all your skills up to level 5. And since I have the rifle, I might as well use it for the convenience here early on. It's pretty heavy though. You see we got a decent amount of carcasses. Now the loot table is set for stalker, no matter what the custom settings are. All that stuff's set for stalker. The only thing I changed for loot setting is it takes a lot longer for stuff to to degrade over time. It's the in fact the lowest setting for that. It's a bone bones. I personally do that because it just seems more believable to me. The way I usually put it is the sweater doesn't go bad in a drawer in three months. It's not going to lose any percentage points, okay? Especially not any kind of significant amount. Like it, having the loot that you're wearing wear down faster, that would make more sense. So if they want to put a one specifically for that... Uh, that I could get down with, but yeah, just everything just 
degrades faster. Eh. And again, I understand it makes the game more difficult. He adds another level. People love playing it. He adds role play. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. I get it. But for me, it's just a realism thing. It's like, no. No, this works. We'll grab the rest of the harvestables, might as well. There's my cave. Grab my mushrooms. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen, so having some backup teas in your pocket. Anyway, the only way I know to get to the summit is to head this way. So. But maybe that'll be fun. Maybe I should learn a different way. I do think there's a way to go from Crystal Lake, if I'm not mistaken. How are we doing? Doing all right. Might end up needing this. I hope I'm right. I think maybe it's a little further ahead then. Yeah, I think so. And disregard that. I've only really done it once. I've only gone to the summit one time. I've tried once. You let him know, Wolf. You let him know. Is there another climb? I can't remember. Did I screw this up? It's always hard for me to remember. No, this is correct. Yeah, you do all that climbing. This is fine. I'm on the right path. I was thinking I was somewhere else. But I do think back there is the way to get to the summit. Alright, we should have our special shoes on anyway. Yes, we do. Improvised crampons. Great addition to the game. Love it. I think it doesn't really reduce the amount necessarily of the fatigue that you're getting. It just makes you climb quicker so that reduces it that makes sense that's how I would describe it All right, let's smack a coffee that's why I've been letting her be thirsty here we should have enough just for another if we need it we might because we're well now we should be okay I'll goof on over here real quick and grab these mushrooms And with the coffee, we're really reducing the amount of fatigue we're taking while we're moving around here. So I'm not sure, I'm, I don't think I changed the harvest tools. It feels like a lot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alright. 
again, I'll have some coal, and possibly some firewood in there. I take note of all the Wolfie boys. Now, I always tell people, you know, hey, listen. Play this game in custom mode, pilgrim mode, however you want to play it. And really try to figure out where stuff is. You know, and not just the wolves, but where the deer are, where the moose are, where the bear are, where there's fishing huts, you know, where there's climbing ropes, where there's ways to get around stuff. And, you know, really learn your map. Because I think, oh, okay. Uh, because I think this game can really get frustrating. And yeah, this is I think where you go to the to go to the uh, summit, deep clearing. So you gotta go find that rope to get all the way up here, dude. It's you and me, huh? What a crap day to be out goofing around. Well, likely that's <laughs> as far as we needed to go. I could chill out here. There's some coal. Firewood. Spare hatchet. We don't need that. Clinkity clinkity steers on, that's for sure. Let's see, you better than my bedroll? 82, that's pretty nice. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. We'll just put this one down. And then I don't have to worry about screwing up mine. We got these, get them out of the way. Some dairy food. Let's see what's in the box here. Garbage? Fantastic. Is it a bit of Toss that in there. Now, warmth. Let's, let's just. Uh, I'm not going to need a fire for warmth. Even with a blizzard going on. We're in good shape here. 52 and 20. At least I'm happy with it. Let's get this going. Go ahead and dry off, though. Make some water. Let's do some things. Make some more coffee. Things nice and warm. <coughs> and basically, <coughs> I mean, I'm fine. read for an hour. And we'll start making some teas up. I don't know where my cooking skill is at. I'm not sure I can carry much more. But I doubt it's level 5, so we'll... 
That's something to do here too. Bounds of water. <coughs> what the heck? What time is it? All right, and then yeah, I think I'll do another hour on the book. Couple more rose hips, there we go. You're doing great. Bastard, you're doing just fine. I'll definitely have to check on uh, my cooking score here. Here. Eventually, yes, but not right now. Okay, so let's take stock. Looks like uh, the blizzard is over anyway. Doesn't look great outside. Let's see. Well, level four. At least heading towards level five. Fire starting. Probably the one fire away from that. Anyway, you can shred your meat. You can cook teas. Uh, now you can heat up acorns and then make acorn coffee. So, I mean, there, there's, there's a lot of ways to gimmick your way up the cooking scale. I'm fine with all of it. More power to you. And we'll just drink this one. Get a little hydration, a little calories. Why not, right? That's one of the things I like about the teas, especially now that you have the acorn coffee, because they add, you know, they have their uses, they're there to keep you warm, they're there to eat calories, etc., but beyond the warmth thing, most people are using it to get their cooking score up. You kind of end up with a lot of these things just kind of laying around. When you get thirsty, you might as well drink them. Now, obviously they're medicinal as well, but that's what's great about the acorn coffee. First of all, it gives you hardly any energy boost. It's, it's almost a complete waste, but you get a little something. 
So if you think about it, you get hydration, calories, and a little energy boost. And you're not wasting a medicine, if you want to look at it that way. But when you drink a rosehip tea, A, you're wasting the medicine. B, you're just getting the hydration and the calories. So I think the acorn coffee is kind of cool as far as that's concerned. But my point is, if you have a bunch of these teas laying around, just drink some of them. It'll help you save food. And the thing is, like I say, I was like, well, how's my water doing? My water's fine. But remember, I got a pile of teas to drink. So more than five. I would think I'm getting close to the end. How many cups of coffee did I make? Four? Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, I'm all about <coughs> trying to get these uh, these scores up as soon as possible. I think Fire starting, particularly in the beginning of the game, is just something that's going <coughs> to happen a lot. And throughout the game. Now I've worked hard and got my badges, so... I can start off with level 3. an hour left. There was a stick on. What I'm gonna do? Read my book here. Grab an extra torch. I oh, got nice. going to... Oh, I need to eat, huh? Wait, did I pick up the bed bowl for some reason? I did. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, dog food? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay, I got that. Okay, it's morning. Fantastic. Let's leave that here. I don't need that. Uh, let's see if I have anything else I can drop. Definitely got extra weight. It's all these teas. That's where it is. Okay. Well, let's see. Who doesn't want to start the day with some tea? I'm going to drink the whole thing, though. Let me stop it right about there. There we go. That'll definitely help with the weight. And then we'll... 
Give me some water here. Some nice cans, though. Eighty one pounds, get the feathers, get all this food and junk. What am I doing on that? I mean, nothing that really makes a big difference. Pick up anything weird. Doesn't look like it. And leaving that thing there is making me nuts. Mm. What I'll do, I'll try to get another hour on this book here. Looks like I made it through another night. Okay, now I'm trying to decide if I've screwed this up. So my plan was to go in here last night and get through this cave and be on the other side this morning. But I couldn't remember if that little cave was before or after this big one. So it was a blizzard. Decisions were made. mean for me? Well, it just means it's going to take a little more of my fatigue. To do what I'm doing today. Should be fine. Okay, let's see if I know how to do this. I think this is correct. down this way. Smushed by the rocks. This will come in handy. Nope. That might. Now let's see if I remember the rest of this. I think this. Got a dead end. Fine with that. Because it should mean I'm going the right way. So I want to get 
this way. Well, we'll see. Hopefully I didn't get turned around. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering right now. Come on, let me know, let me know, let me know. We did it. Uh, quick trip. Didn't take too much of the fatigue. So, you know. <coughs> no need to listen to that all the way. So what do we do? We came out and we hooked, we hooked the left. <laughs> Around the deer clearing. Get into that cave. Get out of this cave. Hook the left. <coughs> Pillage foot rest. So I'll let you know you're going in the right direction. We want to hug the left. Now there's a quite a bit of birch bark you can pick up coming through and back. And it can change sizes for some reason. And you can find some giant pieces. So birch bark that can be like three, four feet. Or would be three, four feet in length. It's awesome sauce. You can see we're just basically following this rock wall here. And another reason I always recommend people play this, you know, in different modes and, and try it over and over again. And we're not running any animals right now. That just could be luck. Maybe there should be wolves back here. Maybe there should be a bear. It's just not here right now. So, I just take several runs and getting through several places to get real knowledge of where things are at. Not just how to get from A to B. Although, I feel my videos are pretty good at getting people from A to B. At least in this movie. Uh, in the long dark here. So here's our first little stand of birch trees. That's what I was talking about. You know you're going the right way. But we're not going to pick it up here. We're going to take it back with us. I might pick up one piece, actually. Another standard birch. I don't really know what it is about it, but it, it's like the further you move on, the more you discover. Sometimes that's when they start to get bigger. 
I don't really get any monsters on this one, but they might grow while I'm in the <laughs> in the gold mine, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to go wide around this log because it's just easier that way. But we're going to head, guess what, towards the left over here. That's right. And again, we're just, we're probably getting pretty close. That's good enough, really, for picking up anything around here. We got firewood, we got coal, we got good things in case we get caught out in the weather. Or I need to hang out. Hopefully, there's a, well, there's a chance for a snow shelter. Oh. Snow got a little quirky there, I don't know. Uh, anyway, there's a chance for a snow shelter along the way. It's, uh... Probably, if you can get it on a lower difficulty, like Stalker and Blow, I would say it's probably essential to stay there if you want to make this climb. The issue is that this, this is massive. <laughs> massive drain on your fatigue here. So. But I can see the first rope right in front of us. So this climb, especially with the improvised crampons, is much easier now, but certainly much easier than it on interloper, which sounds strange, but it's true. Then on the lower difficulties, those guys going. Now, this first climb is not too bad. Still going to do a number on my fatigue. There you go. We're already a quarter, over a quarter there. So let alone rip this, right? The weather's sketch. Here's the thing, we got two more climbs, and they're not just normal climbs. They're two two-part climbs. <laughs> so basically, I gotta climb up a good ways pull over, take a rest to get my stamina up, climb again. And we need to do that twice. Uh, no snow shelter here, that's not great. Hammer though. Anyway, so what we're going to do is drink our first coffee. And as you see, I have enough thirst to drink another one. Make sure we get the old crampons on. We're good to go. Uh, with the crampons on, do you need to stop? I'd say no. Uh, but since generally I like to have a quick look and keep the fatigue up, we're just going to give ourselves another second. No, no, we'll keep that coffee piece going on. Right. It is scratch. So scratch.
And see, they make this part especially brutal, I think. Getting on this little top piece here. Alright. So now there's one more climb. It is awful. And uh, coffee's only going to do so much. So I'm going to see. Hopefully. If I can get a little fire going. Now this could go really bad. You know. Very quickly. Come on, little fire. <laughs> Come on. So, again, and particularly if you're on a mode where Perfect. the fatigue level is hard. There it is, level four. Alright, let's toss on a piece of coal. <sighs> and now, believe it or not, behind this rock, I'm going to try to sleep. back is not doing well with the weather it's cold because my fire only died by like 30 minutes I was wondering if the direction of the wind was going to change. So this next hour of sleep is particularly sketchy. I could move my fire. Can I get... Oh, here, just grab a torch. Oh, yeah. I'm not too worried about fuel up top or anything, so. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Who knows, maybe I can get the benefit of both fires. Uh, let's throw a little extra on here. Sticks, just in case. Might need that coal. Weather's cleared up. Let's see if I can look out and just get one more hour. Crows are out. Okay. Now you're saying, isn't that going to wreck your stuff? Yeah, that's why we got the coffee, folks. Yeah, we should get a slight reduction in the fatigue, but it's still going to beat me up again. Now, I was noticing it does cost more fatigue to stop and look because you're still losing the same amount of fatigue. when you're looking over there to get up there. So I'm just going to keep going this time. As you can see, like I said, now imagine doing this without the crampons. The 
reduce fatigue that I have just from being on the interway for seven for the fatigue setting. It's super dangerous to do on any level. <laughs> Basically other than interway for Okay, so we come out here, and guess what? There's another climb. Plus, you might not have a rope. You're thinking to yourself, gosh, <laughs> that seems pretty brutal. Yeah. Especially since my carry weight is reduced by 8 pounds at this point. There's a cave nearby. Uh, you can go sleep in. But like I said, here you can see there is the way down that you're supposed to use and it has a rope attachment. We don't have a rope so you need to bring one with you. Uh, sometimes you can find one around here. Uh, you might have some luck in the cave down there. I guess we could take a quick peek. It's not too far away. But, doesn't look like you lucked out. Coal and firewood and all these. Now you could spend the night here as well, because we wouldn't have enough to climb down a rope tonight. It'd be pretty much impossible. But obviously, I'm leading to another way. And we're going to head that way now. And this just goes to show you there's a lot of ways to get down some of these areas. Maybe you're you've got too much carry weight. Uh, there are ways to like glitch around certain things. There are ways to use rocks to cross mountain ranges. I mean, you know, get out there and explore. I, I think uh, Zach Nafane calls it billy goading. I usually call it skyrimming. But I think this is where I want to go down. No, that's not it back here yeah. and what we're going to do we got our crampons on right we're going to duck and we're going to work our way slowly down and you want to do this really slowly and you could probably count on snapping some ankles wrists whatever so you might want to have some bandages pain pills as long as you're ducked though even if you don't have the crampons on you can still do this without falling. Take it as slow as possible. And you never know. You might not even snap an ankle. You probably will, but you might not. But what we've done is we've saved ourselves from having to wait the middle of the night or the morning or the next day or the middle of the afternoon depending on how cold it is right it's still really steep here by the way I can tell by the way it started shaking right there we could probably stand up huh? uh, but we didn't have to um, use the rope we didn't have to take that rope and the thing is we'd have to take that rope we just climbed and used and that means coming back here this way would basically be impossible after that. And you're like, why do you keep grabbing things? Well, there's a backpack in there that's going to add 11 pounds carry weight. That's why. Now if I want to do do a bit more exploring, 
back towards the cave and do some walking. There's a chance to find a bear coat and some other good clothing and stuff, but I'm mainly here for the backpack, particularly today. Before I forget, uh, anyway, I'm taking this guy back here. Sometimes uh, there's a body, there's a backpack. Sometimes a dead guy, if he's back here, he has a pistol with him. Or he used to, anyway. Take it. Okay, rifle cartridge, rifle cartridge. You can keep that, my friend. What am I doing? I'm walking off the edge of the earth here. Uh, generally speaking, you're not going to find too much here. At least in this little outside area. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to trudge through this pretty slowly because we are super overburdened and I'm not drinking another coffee right now. It's probably going to get worse. It's probably going to end up grabbing some stuff. Let's see. We got anything in here? I don't know. Might be useful. We'll make sure we have some food for tonight. It should be fine. There should probably be some in the cave. lovely so let's just keep moving. I think I can use this. Probably not. Fire starter, let's get in there. Made it to the mine, folks. The mines of Moria. Or the gold mine. Good day to be spelunking. See, so sometimes you can find something right handy. at the beginning. A torch, 100%. Not bad. Yeah, we'll hit this first little loot area. Sometimes you can find a butt. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. What are we getting here? Carcass harvesting? Yep. And I left one back in somewhere. Scarf matches. Be useful. Junk food. Mm, I can use that. Definitely gonna be moving slow. All right, so we want to get through here, but it's wet, and we just need to go to our clothing here. Then we're gonna take off all this bottom stuff. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Get in the water here. I'm not going to put my clothes back on because I'm just going to have to do it again here in a minute. But yeah, sorry for the slow trudging, but I need this fuel. We will be here throughout the night.
And I might need to spend a little time hanging out tomorrow, depending on the weather. This will come in handy. Uh, sometimes you can find some clothing. Might find another like expedition coat or uh, urban parker or something like that. So snow pants, you never know. A little bit of cloth, maybe it'll give you something to do. But again, we're walking through frigid water. I didn't put my clothes back on. That way, nothing's getting wet or frozen. Either. And I'm going to run all the way to, to the backpack. Just go ahead and grab it because it's going to help me move around hopefully just a little bit. Oh, this guy's in there. I'll take it. I'd say that's definitely new. I don't remember there ever being a body there before. That's all, also what I think is kind of fun and interesting about the update is that, you know, you, you, you do need to get around and start checking places maybe you've already been. Places you might skip. Normally, what did we get? Work pants looks like cargo something. Oh, nice long john. That's a that's a score. And we got this. And these we should be moving better. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up right here. Level four fire starting, y'all. Come on, little fire. Making fires like a champ. <sighs> you bet, miss. You bet. <sighs> Chuck it over there. Right. We're going to add a bunch of coal and wood. It's just extra weight I don't really need right now. Uh, we're gonna play it smart. Put some water on. Look around real quick. And then I gotta go because there's a peach pie. I need to get out of the oven. And cut up for people. Uh, sometimes you can find a rifle back here. I think I can use this. Uh, leather. I think that flare. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna run up here. Because sometimes the rifle can be up here, and I just want you to. If you happen to catch this episode, at least see if it's in here before I say goodbye. Obviously, I have one. You don't find a ton in Stalker Hunter, but... Oh, found a pistol instead. This will come in handy. So, we'll grab that. A couple of cartridges. I can't imagine they'd stick the rifle in the pistol in here. So that's twice now. I mean, I found guns in here. Interesting that you can find either or. I didn't, didn't think that was a thing. A lot of times they'll, they don't always place these things in the same drop any of this gear. area. So that's cool. And maybe you don't find it down here anymore. Maybe, uh, maybe that's where you got to go to get it. Anyway, there's a peach pie calling my name. I'm basically just going to set up here for the night. Do a little bit of exploring in this room. Not too much. I think I pretty much found everything I need. Uh, fuel up my lantern while I'm here. Figure out what I'm going to leave and take. Might rip up some clothing and sew a few things. But for the most part, I think I'm in good shape. So... I'm good. Read my little note here. 
I thought that was leather. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm out. We're on day. Forty-three. So I guess I was wrong when I titled this. Whatever. I'll get there. I'll be on day forty-six by the next video. All right. Well, if you happen to catch this, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you see this at a later day or time, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a good day. Y'all be good to each other.